What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn. Jake Paul, get this. Eddie Hearn gives Jake Paul his props by saying this. Jake Paul is improving. Now he really has to fight a boxer. Wow. He says, I think Jake, Hall is, Jake Paul is improving He's working hard. He does a lot of things wrong in the ring, but he's not a boxer. He hasn't been boxing for years and years. Now Jake really has to fight a boxer. He's never going to get credit that he maybe wants or deserves until he actually fights a professional boxer. I believe he wants to do that. I'm guessing he will do that next. Hmm. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn and let me counter punch. I've been telling people that since Jake Paul, the problem child, has came on the scene with the self-promotion, with a huge YouTube fan base, with some newfound casual uh, boxing watchers of this particular YouTube phenomenon, right? And I've been saying that everyone that he's fought, I mean, every single fighter or person that he's fought. They might have been fighters of some degree or once upon a time legendary like Anderson Silva was, but they weren't primarily boxers. Anderson Silva was a kickboxer, Muay Thai. He did some ground game, you know, but he was one of the best strikers in the business. However, he's 47. Tyrone Woodley, the same thing. Tyrone Woodley hurt Jake Paul in the first fight. He got him out of there with a knockout in the second fight. Um, you had the old grappler. Um, I forget his name at this point in time. You know, he was old. He wasn't a fighter. He wasn't even a striker. He was a grappler. You know, he got laid out too within one round. You had the basketball player. Okay. we who What basketball player do you know that can fight good? Come on. They're not really even designed as fighters. You know, and I don't see how he even had him as a guinea pig because that's exactly what he was to jump in the ring with Jake Paul. OK, so I don't think at the end of the day that Jake Paul hasn't uh, or has done anything to warrant respect for boxing. You're just using a boxing ring with guys that are not primarily boxers. Counterpunch. Now, he could say that wasn't me. I wasn't a really a boxer either, but I'm knocking their ass out. I, I get that. But then you're using boxing as you're trying to present yourself as a boxer, not as a celebrity death match, not as an exhibition to the degree where he's claiming he's really serious or so he claims that he's really serious about fighting a boxer. And it just makes me very suspicious on how two fighters, boxers, Tommy Fury and uh, Rockman Jr., Haseen Rockman Jr., mysteriously, the fights didn't get made. You know what I mean? I just look at that like, okay, this is real, something's real funny about this, you know? And it just lets you know that, hey, you know what Eddie Hearn is saying that, hey, I think he will, but I don't know if he will. And I won't know if Jake Paul is willing to fight a real boxer, uh, until he gets in the ring with the real boxer, not sign, not uh, uh, not agree. No, but actually the fight is agreed upon. You guys train and you guys get in the ring and actually fight. No funny business. No, hey, this happened. Hey, that happened. Hey, this is, you know, this is the issue with that. It's not my fault. I did, you know what I mean? All that is just to me at this point, a bunch of bull. You know, that's all it is to me because Jake Paul needs to show people that, hey, I'm claiming to be a boxer. Let me start whooping these boxers that are around my same size and my same what? Age. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn stating that Jake Paul is improving. Now it's time for him to fight a true boxer. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.